Devin Turner, a strong safety, returns to the lineup after missing the Michigan State game with an injury. Third down, McNamara slings it. One-on-one -on -one coverage. It's hauled in by Terrell Washington. Iowa in field goal range. Third and one, Caleb Johnson. First down. Touchdown! Big play, KJ. Watch Logan Jones working on the inside here. We showed the reach block that he struggled with a bit earlier, but there he's able to watch that entire pile. So that's a part of where the entire Northwestern. It's not something you want to do against the Iowa offense. Braden Bruss on the field, number 33 for Northwestern's linebacking core. And there's a push pass to Pascuzzi. Cut down at the five yard line. Life under Brendan Sullivan. Sullivan! Touchdown, Iowa! In a little bit. He walks back there in Johnson. Here, able to just narrowly. That's allowing more of a cutback lane now for the Iowa rushing attack. Caleb Johnson right up the middle. Two touchdowns for number two today. Traffic sifting through, allowing Caleb Johnson to get there, and then Richmond finishes things off at level number two. Iowa starts a drive at the 25 of Northwestern. Caleb Johnson, impossible to bring down. Touchdown, Johnson, his third of the day. Do they have an angle that shows that he is definitively, that he is indisputably not in? Castle play on third down, got him down here. Oh, now toward the end zone, Jackson makes the turn. Touchdown for Daniel Jackson. your eye discipline when you get down here and Jackson's going to come across you get a split flow action but he just goes in a little nice little out cut no need to go to the corner <laughs> Gophers looking for a two score lead Rosemer falling away and it's caught in the back of the end zone touchdown for Elijah Spencer well you talk about Max finding Elijah Spencer back here in this crowd it's a what they call a Switch concept, you've got a mesh concept. Now their defense looks for a third down stop. Nice switch Those were protected, and there's Jackson underneath for another Gophers touchdown. But that you draw, and when you watch him come underneath this coverage here, it's, it's impossible to do it, right? He's streaking, and it creates separate. Second and goal for Maryland. Edwards keeps it himself, and a walk-in touchdown. When you get down here in the green area, you got some split flow action that's going here. The quarterback is going to make that same direction and I'll see if they can sort out this little cluster formation. Somebody should come open. Nice. Roseman looking for a shot. Wide open man. Spencer. Touchdown for the Gophers. Who just keep on rolling on homecoming. Bunch formation here. You got to be able to sort this out, right? Those three defenders are responsible for these three. And the nice little tight end punch in the middle of the field. Second down and two to start the fourth. Darius Taylor. Oh, he's so good. Squeaks his way out of a tackle. Now hits the sideline. Open grass in front. And he is gone. Connor, he is so good. You're going to watch several opportunities here where he changes gears. He reads, reacts, protects the ball. Both arms and then highs and tight. Carries it up like Tiki Barber, old school. And then the little flipper on the back. Tajay Johnson in blocking, so is Samuels. And out to the edge, Samuels has a touchdown. The edge player on defense gets in on the offense. With the single defender on this edge, this is the guy that they're optioning right here. Pulls it out, that defensive end gobbles him up, but he leaves the big... There's nobody even close on the, the Big Ten receiving leaderboard to Felton. Oh. This is for Knotts. He's behind Robinson and hauls it in. On third and nine, Morris has an open man. It's Knotts.
plowing his way in for a touchdown. Pulled out the Gophers into a kind of a prevent three cross type look, and they had enough men back there, but they were so far off the ball. You see why he's third in the Big Ten in yards after contact entering play today. So now Rodgers wants to set up a screen, and he's got it. Cam Davis into Indiana territory, and another first down. And Rodgers is going to throw under pressure, over the middle. Denzel Boston down inside the 40. Uh, Indiana with pressure coming. Jackson has it picked up. Long throw on a line. It's caught. Omar Cooper. Touchdown Hoosiers. Back to Jonah Coleman. Coleman breaks through across midfield, a stiff arm, and Coleman is going to get deep into Indiana territory, finally pushed out at the 20. They'll hand it off. And around, and reaching for the end zone, Giles Jackson is in. And Washington is on the board. And away we go. We got a ball game, 14-7. A half empty Memorial Stadium seemed distant now the way this place has been packed. Will Rogers has it deflected and it's caught anyway by Jeremiah Hunter. Great concentration from him. After the turnover on downs, Jackson back foot throw on the money. Miles Cross with a first down in the country. Damon Williams keeping it and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington! What a turn of events! But Jacob Bandez give him a little fist pump. We said QB run game. Were you thinking it was going to be Indiana? No, it's UW. Very. See if they can clean it up here in the second half. I'd get Elijah Surratt involved a little bit at the top of the screen. Then go back to the ground here with Ellison, who cuts it back. David Jackson out blocking in front, and that tackle's made on the perimeter by Ephesians Prysock. Hoping for something to cheer about. Jackson cuts another one loose. A dime right to Miles Price. Back to Ellison. Ellison moving forward. He reaches. Touchdown, Hoosiers. This game is always going to present adversity. How you respond is the key. And this program. He gives it off to Jonah Coleman, and Coleman turns the corner and picks up a first down. A huge chunk play for him. They sprint three receivers out to the left. Back to the ground, no. It's the quarterback, Kevin Jackson. He kept it, and he scored it. And Taven Jackson, once a Tennessee volunteer, back home again in Indiana. Success earlier. Yeah, I think here in the second half, they flipped him to the wide side of the field in that regard. Come down the seam there to Latu. And Latu fighting his way down inside the 15 and to the 10. Play clock down to two. Gabriel scanning the field on his toes. Throws late and completes it. Tez Johnson cuts it to the outside. Did he get there? Yes, he did. Touchdown. They dropped just three guys. One 1,000. One 1,000. Five. Oh, boy, too much time. That Lion Eye defense can't hold up. And the athletes puts it into the end zone. Taz Johnson in the end zone for the eighth time this year to cap an opening 83-yard touchdown drive for the Ducks. But then he just doesn't quite get there. Gabriel deep down the middle. Got it. Justice Lowe. Touchdown. Does he throw a good pass? Gets beat inside. Watch this. That's the big mistake. But he does not lead Joe Love, excuse me, into the second down and a yard and a half here for the Illini. Humphrey cuts back. Nice run. Got away. The 40 down the sideline, all the way to the 25 yard line. I think we got a flag. I think Sakari Franklin's going to get called for holding on the play. First and goal at the seven. 
Gabriel's going to keep it again, and he's going to score on a hurdle. Touchdown, Oregon. First he did it with his arm twice. Now he's done it with his legs from seven yards out. That really led to this touchdown. Once they got it in there, they put it inside, and they cut the quarterback keep it. 21-3. And he said they text pretty often. Advice on a lot of things, including another touchdown by your tailback. Noah Whittington just ran over everybody on a third down for the touchdown. Goes in motion and watch him kick out the defensive end. Beautiful job. Oh, collision at the... Whittington in the backfield. Gabriel thinking about pitching it to him. Does... He's in. Touchdown. I think he's going to get a touchdown pass on this. I do, too. It's not there. They buy more time, and then it's a forward pitch. And he flipped it with his right hand. Yep. First down at the 48. Up on our deep sideline. Zakari Franklin gathers it in. Very subtle push-off. They've got to have something here. Valentine will stay in at the four-yard line. Valentine again. His heart's in it. If he can get to the goal line, and he did. Yeah, touchdown, yeah. Illinois. Shoved him over. And right now, Derek Harmon is looking at his teammates and going, um, We're going to have to start putting some money on this for you. <laughs> Got three kids. And here's Henderson breaking it outside. And Le'Veon Henderson makes chicken salad. I think the bulk of their yards will come when they're running off the right side. First down to the 40-yard line. Howard sets up, throws a deep ball. has got a man! Caught! Touchdown, Buckeyes! Cornell Tate! You've got to read the safety in order to get the post over the top. So as the safety is going to sit right here, and he's going to be watching Abuka, and as soon as he sets, Howard goes up and over the top. He doesn't pay attention to the backside safety. You feel like you can complete that regardless of what he's doing. Tate runs a good route. Safety sits, and Howard hits him for the touchdown. Beautiful play there from Howard. Ohio State showing blitz. They pick it up. Raiola steps away from it. Huge lane. Here comes Dylan. Look at the 19-year-old out of bounds at the 15. I haven't been given chipping. <laughs> Howard guns it down the field. Smith. Jeremiah. Touchdown. Buckeyes. 60 yards. And watch him just beat everybody to the interior. And folks, watch his speed. He's urgent with his speed, and he's right down the seam. No one can catch him. This is what's so shocking. At 220 pounds, I think he's a phenomenal back. First down to 10 at the 43. Howard throwing on the move. Nice throw. Great catch. Cardinal T again, who has a touchdown. He's so jacked. That shelf, terrific. First and 10 at the 39. Here's a run. And Johnson picks up some great yardage. From Warway, New Jersey, Seton Hall Prep. Here's a handoff and a lane again for Nebraska. Dante Dowdell. First down at the 43. Another handoff, another huge hole, Dowdell. And he'll get to the Ohio State 45. Caleb Downs with the tackle. Now it's incumbent on this offense to try to get creative and maybe create an explosive play. First down from the 26, and here's an explosive play here. Down the sideline, Dowdell, and he tiptoes out of bounds. Riola underneath, and it's caught by his tight end, Padoni, and he'll dive forward and get inside the Ohio State 20. Power formation. Last man through, now it's a touchdown. Dowdell by the offensive line. There's the big defensive tackle in the game, number nine. First down at the 25. Howard to throw it, guns it. And he has his receiver, Carnell Tate. Tate crosses the 40, gets up to the 44. Howard looking with time, delivers. So here's Judkins, and watch, he's going to come and work against the linebacker, and then he's just going to kind of inside release on the linebacker, does a nice job making him slip, and then see all the time he has to have a, like a kind of a double move from the... 
Champion Lane had quite the connection in the Holiday Bowl last year. Marks on a bounce outside. Tiptoes down the sideline. It's a first down run for Marks. He's knocked out by Powell after 17. Once again, Marks is in. Touchdown, USC. Touchdown. He's going to scoop around and kind of like flip on the play before. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. But that time, just too much force. Ryan running right. From this short of midfield, run again. He breaks the tackle. Menungai darts forward. Menungai. First down. Here they go again. Second and goal from the half-yard line. Maybe even closer. Marks got in. Touchdown. With a crash. Wow. Next to the umpire, he is the unblocked. And you know this is a running back. Be your own blocker. I got to run right through him. But when you can smell that pay dirt. At quarterback after a tough stretch for USC. First down for the Trojans. Moss again. It's a screen. It's Ford one more time. A nasty step on. He is in. Come back to it. This was the third down and five conversion. Watch the receivers blocking down the field because Ford catches it behind the line of scrimmage. They're able to block downfield. And then unlike a lot of these games, yards after catch. It was debilitating the Rutgers a week ago. That's now 83 of the 126 passing yards have come after the catch. That too is Raymond is in on first down for Rutgers. Scarlet Knights are driving. Kaliak Manis hits it on the outside for a first down for K.J. Duff. That's inside the 20-yard line. The freshman Duff with the grab. First down, another long drive for Rutgers. First long drive ended in a field goal. Duff topside. Kaliak Manis looking this direction instead, and he has Dimir Miller. It is first and goal for Rutgers. Completion. Raymond. Got him, touchdown. A zigzag for a score. Like Manungai, watch his little pitter-patter in the backfield. Even more so, look at the huge left tackle, Holland Pierce, all 350 pounds, washed down the edge. Earlier in the quarter, as Miller Moss is ready to throw again. That's Marks out of the backfield, a tremendous receiver. And runner after the catch. It's a first down, Allison Williams downstairs. <laughs> which leaves some space for runs after the catch. Moss, Zachariah Branch. Got a block on the outside, and there he goes. Turbo Jets inside the 30. Yeah, the run game has been big. It's Woody Marks again. On the run, Marks scores! Number three of his night. If you're not on it, and you're not communicating, and you get out leveraged, you get gashed. Kaliak Manis saw the heat, now he'll tuck and run, and he, down the sideline, stays in bounds. He's been the guy on third down tonight. Kaliak Manis wants to go deep, he's missed on two. Miller right there this time! At the 25, and here comes Rutgers. Manungai back in, it's a fake to him. That's a dart, it is dribble, touchdown! Run and run and watch 27, right? Not shown any of this off that inside zone action, and an absolute dart right between the eight in the... He's been outstanding tonight, first down for USC in a game again. This throw over the middle, that's caught, catch and run, Makai Lemon in the space! Traversing to the outside. He is inside the 10. Somebody just said, hey, Deuce. And he's down at the bottom of the formation. Branches in in the slot. Moss. Touchdown. Yep. So this is a way to, to at least put seven in the positive column. He does not run three scrambles the entire year. He does have a rushing touchdown earlier this season, and that's just savvy. Pick up by McCree. That leads to Lemon. He is out of here. Lemon come from the right side here. A nice pickup by McCree. Pressure has been 
Some of the adjustment in the second half, but that's just a bust. Corner runs with Zachariah Branch in a man situation. With the Lakers winning, that one of the jerseys that we saw on the way in here tonight is Marks is free again. Woody Marks with three touchdowns on third down. That's very good against one of the best third down defense in the country. What a pickup by Raymond to clear that throw. Oh my goodness. KJ Duff hauled it in, but Raymond threw his body in front. For the Trojans, and this guy can spin a football. He can also run a football. Oh, he broke it down into a stutter step for a first down. Hand off Carter. Big room. Carter splitting the defense near the 10 yard line. Another big run for Nate Carter. Childs hands it off. Carter got at least a first down, and he's got a touchdown to boot. Warren, wide open, touchdown Loveland. Who confused the defense. Watch this motion and how it affects the corner and the safety. So they send C.J. Charleston across the formation. And here comes Loveland. These two guys were communicating, saying, hey, you got him, you got him. They're trying to pass him off, and clearly someone messed up there. So this team feels confident that they can compete with those teams down the back stretch of the schedule. Alex Orgy's in the ballgame. He's got the edge. He's got the sideline, Alex Orgy, into Spartan territory. Watch Matt Spredison, number 44. Watch him come in motion. Orgy keeps, Orgy, and touchdown! Now offensive line coach last year, he said the one word he wants to describe his team, it's smash. This moment we talked about a must-win game, he's shown up big for the Wolverines. Edwards gets a toss, he's passing it, touchdown! Carson Loveland is second of the game! Edwards throws for the touchdown, Loveland with two scores. The battle for the Paul Bunyan Trophy. Marshawn Milan, top of the screen. Childs hits Marsh, puts the brakes on, a race to the end zone, touchdown! Oh, that kid's exciting, Nick Marsh. Mirhal thought he's running the fade, and this is what separates Nick Marsh. Asserted themselves more than they did on that play. Aller. Looking end zone, open, oh, one-handed grab, Singleton can do no wrong, touchdown, Nittany Lions. Number 44, he's going to come in here and just kind of get in the way, and Hunter Wallers just is late getting there to Singleton. Tyler Warren sprung him open, and Drew Aller hit him with the football. What a catch. So now to the one, and it's third and goal once again with Aker back in. This time they run it. Walker to the outside. Touchdown! Wisconsin cashes in and pulls in front. Watch him. The lead block. He's actually going to get two blocks. They pull the guard, and they lead with the fullback. Watch Aker get two blocks. Two guys taken care of. Lock back to the air. Deliver. Sideline. High rainbow. C.J. Williams. Singleton Allen. out wide also. Here he comes. Third and goal. Looking for Singleton. Instead, Prabula wide open. Khalil Dinkins. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Sneak Tyler Warren out here late. He's hesitating and going to come across here. This is Dinkins. And watch him get open on the crossing route. Have to start thinking about those timeouts. As we approach the two-minute timeout. Simon's going to go to Allen. Allen finds a hole. Allen! Touchdown! Just snuck it in the corner. And Katron Allen extends the Penn State lead. Well, this was one of those tricky plays from Andy Kotelnicki. We haven't seen many. We talked about they had to keep their eyes in the right spot. That time they didn't have...